بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ٹوڈے آئی ایکسپلین یو اباؤٹ نیکسٹ موسٹ امپورٹنٹ فلاسفر جین جیکوس روسو پیریڈ آف روسو واز سیونٹین ٹویلو ٹو سیونٹین سیونٹی ایٹ Rousseau was born in Geneva, Switzerland and lived there until 1728. Uh, Geneva was a self-governing city-state and its residents felt pride about its independence. There was many ups and downs in Rousseau's life. The turning point of Rousseau's career was about the essay competition through Dijon Academy. The essay writing competition was about the topic of has the progress of science and arts contributed to corrupt or purify morals. Uh, Rousseau adopted the unconventional approach and wrote an essay on negative answer and against the topic. His success was definite. He not only won the contest but achieved almost overnight repetition. His essay entitled A Discourse on the Moral Effects of Arts and Sciences argued that morals had deteriorated as the art and science had carried man away from his natural state of goodness. His arguments were more passionate than logical and he took positions that were largely very tenable and very important. He was surprised that his essay won the content. This incident led him to become a full-fledged writer. Now he encouraged and become more confident. In 1754, Rousseau wrote another essay again in the competition held by the Academy of Dijon. Uh, this essay was about the topic of the origin of inequality. The origin of inequality was better than the first, his second discourse, but he could not win the prize. The, in the same year, he contributed on an essay about political economy to the encyclopedia. Now I explain you about Rousseau's written work, about his books. His first book was Confession. It was his autobiography which gives a clear picture of a deeply divided personality of the Rousseau. Uh, Rousseau was sensitive, emotional and uh, self-conscious type of individual and all these his personalities aspects all also reflected in his writings. His most important next writing was about La Novelle he dies. Next, the Emily. The Emily was an eminent treatise on education and on church and clergy. Next, have the arts and science conferred benefits on mankind? Next, Discourse on the Origin of Inequality. 
नेक्स्ट एंड लास्ट दि सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दि सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वाज अ थॉट प्रोवोकिंग अ थॉट प्रोवोकिंग वर्क ऑफ रूसो एंड हैड अ ग्रेट इन्फ्लुएंस at that time and become a popular book in intellectual circles rousseau's writings his works were remained very effective because of his passionate assertion of popular sovereignty his appeal to the masses of the nation the extreme emotionally of his writings and his superb literary style they were prominent and popular because they aimed at a solution of the ills from which the body politic of france was suffering at that time and which has created a Uh, wide spread discontent rousseau's writings his ideals have basic aimed at direct democracy and equality demanded a radical reconstruction of the social and political order and led logically to the revolution when we discuss about rousseau's uh, different theories his different views and different aspects of his philosophy then we find out his major contribution about nature of man or human nature state of nature and his theory of social contract so first of all i explain you about human nature or nature of man rousseau agrees with plato that human nature is essentially good rousseau believed in the goodness of human nature he described that man in his state of nature was happy solitary innocent and content and only social institutions make him evil he further describes that man is naturally good and it is only through institutions that he is become bad so rousseau portrayed a very clear picture of human nature he said that man is not so aggressive and so selfish as thomas hobbes has made him he further explained that there are two kinds of there are two kinds of insects in man to preserve himself and preserve others so by nature if man want his own security then he also want security of his other fellows so he clearly said that there are two kinds of instincts in man to preserve himself and preserve others the former is self regarding while instinct later is the other regarding the later modifies the force of former and makes society possible rousseau guides conscious by determining what is right and what is wrong reason and conscience enable man to establish harmony between his self regarding and other regarding instincts it is man's destiny to perfect his nature 
through reason and society. As long as a man follows his natural instincts, he is good. And when his natural instincts are distorted, he becomes bad. Bad social environment makes a man self-regarding, while the good social environment makes a man other-regarding. The instinct of self-regarding generates pride in a man, while the instinct of others regarding generate reason, liberty or freedom of choice. By a wise choice, he can transform his nature into real will. Rousseau clearly explains that man by birth had no evil tendencies, yet the wrong social actions of the society had made him evil. He had the tendencies of self-love, sympathy for others, and betterment of other fellow beings. One point is very important during this, this discussion and that is about the uh, state of uh, nature of Hobbes. According, sorry, about Rousseau. According to Rousseau, there are two kinds of inequality among men in the state of nature. The first is natural, it is the only kind which exists in a state of nature and consists of those differences, differences of age, health, body strength and the qualities of mind or of the soul. The other is moral or political inequality. It is established by man in society. It comprises such privileges as that of being more rich, more honored, more powerful, or of being in a position to exact obedience. Institution of private property created complications for man. According to Tom, according to Rousseau, the first man who having enclosed a piece of ground bethought himself of saying this is mine and found people simple enough to believe him was the real founder of civil society. The selfish part of man's nature asserted itself. The solution they found was the creation of civil society with laws to protect private property and force required to implement them. The only answer is the creation of a new society for which Rousseau presented his theory of social contract. We are discussing about Rousseau's state of nature. Rousseau, Rousseau's discourse on the origin of inequality gives us his idea about the state of nature. He agrees with Hobbes that in the state of nature human beings lack any social capacity but goes much further than Hobbes. He claims that human beings are naturally isolated and are utterly unmoral and unsocial. He says that language is an invention of civilization while primitive people are without it therefore they can have neither reason nor speech as such they are incapable of knowing those moral rules necessary to create a viable community.
He insists that without speech politics is impossible. Rousseau does not conclude that the state of nature is a state of war. Rather he agrees with Locke that human beings are essentially decent and as such their natural condition must be one of peace and concord. He cannot accept Locke's contention that peace is result of people's ability to know and obey natural laws. Without language and exactly to reason, human beings are incapable of knowing moral truth. Rousseau's natural man is noble, peaceful, solitary, happy and carefree life. He felt free and equal, independent, contented and self-sufficient. He was non-social being, unknown to good or evil or fear. He had no knowledge about death. He had neither family nor property. He followed no reason but self-interest. Rousseau says that state of nature was not a state of war but it was a state of paradise before the entrance of um, serpent did not come in the shape of property arising out of desire to have a family in the place of wandering life. The private property created the family and sense of jealousy and inequality and struggle, all these gave rise to inequality in the society and in the state of nature. So it was necessary for setting up of government. However, Rousseau says that perfection rather than peace is the main desire of humankind and this cannot be achieved in the state of nature. Association not isolation is a necessity of human beings to advance from fearful existence to that of moral being. The perfection needs a community for its fulfillment, but the isolate, isolated man cannot develop association and community while the community needs to be organized. So, he laid down the foundation of his organic state. Now we examine about the theory of social contract of the Rousseau. The basis of the contract is an agreement and consent of all persons concerned According to Rousseau, each individual surrender all his natural rights to the community as a whole. The surrender was absolute. No one uh, loses anything and everyone gains security by the power of community. The society thus created by contract was organic in character. It was a moral and collective being having its own life will and entity. Rousseau further explained that each individual contracts with each to unite into and constitute a community. The end for which this agreement is made is the protection and preservation of property in the broad sense of the word that is of life, liberty and state against the dangers both from within and without community. Rousseau further explains the passing from the state of nature to the civil state produces a man very remarkable change by substituting just for instinct in his conduct and giving to his actions a moral character which they lacked before. 
Rousseau lays the foundation of his organic state upon which he construct his political theory in, in his book The Social Contract. He does not view the community as a mere collection of singular persons, each of whom is motivated by individual interest. It is rather a living body, a public person, a moral being and it is general will. The individual is capable of morality only as member of this body. Outside it he is nothing. He owes every worthwhile attribute to the state. There is no good life outside the state. He has no rights outside the state. His welfare is bound up within the group. Thus it is group, not the individual that is important. So Rousseau's view about the community, uh, his views about the community are important to understand the political theory of the social contract. The sub, subtitle of the social contract is principle of political rights. He starts it with the following words. These words are also opening word of his book, Social Contract. Man is born free and everywhere he is in chains. May a man believes himself to be master of others, who is no less than they a slave. How did this change take place? I do not know. What can make it legitimate? To this question, I hope to be able to furnish an answer. Rousseau says that the community is necessary for the security and the community can be constituted comprising of individuals who usefully give their consent for the formulation of community or political society. Reconciliation between man's liberty and the authority of state could only be made on the basis of contract to which all members gave their consent. He further explains that the formulation of the society took place in the following fashion. The individuals who wanted to constitute a society met together and surrendered their natural rights by saying, each of us puts his person and all his power in common under the supreme direction of general will. And our corporate capacity we receive each member as an individual's part of whole. The merger of individuals creates a moral and collective body composed of many members as the assembly contains votes and receiving from this act its unity, its common identity its life and its will to be distinguished from those of its constituent members. It is called as a state and its members are collectively designated as people and individually as citizen. Rousseau considered all this process as social contract which ensures equality between all because all members after surrendering their persons and rights are reduced to the sum level and are therefore equal. Hence their individual liberty is preserved and they enjoy the same rights which they themselves lost. The contract is entered into substitute general authority 
in place of conflicting authority of the individual. He assumes that the parties to the contract are the individual on one side and the community on the other. Accordingly, individuals enter into two relations as the member of community and bound to other individuals who are co-sovereign as a member of the state, he is bound to the sovereign. Rousseau very clearly explained that one contract between individuals in their personal capacity and individuals in their corporate capacity. Individual surrender his right to his individual and as individuals surrender their rights to corporate, corporate as a whole body. It distinguishes between the state and government and locates sovereignty in general will. Uh, these points are very very important and considered as a core part, as an integrity part of the philosophy of Rousseau. Rousseau's contract is not single isolated concurrence but a continuous process involving a continuous participation in general will and therefore involving the continuous consent of the individual to acts of the same. It is this constant participation that enables a man's nature to be fruitful and makes his life rich. His contract is not single purpose unlike Locke's contract but it involves continuous partic participation in general will as well as the welfare of the community. According to him, morality results from contract because the implicit of community regarded replaces the self-regarding. So the contract makes a man rational and moral steadily through constant participation in the general will. In Rousseau's views, the political society becomes sovereign and in his own contract he tackles most fundamental problems of the politics in establishment of right relationship between individual and state and between liberty and authority. He also resolves the problems of rationalizing and legitimizing the government. Each ind individual becomes a citizen and a sovereign, thus freer than before. Each individual surrenders his all to the community, yet gainer all through community. He is real a gainer than loser. He really receives the traditional aspect of Aristotle about the moral being of man and finds his an end and perfection in the state. If we analyze Rousseau's theory of social contract or if we make an analysis of Rousseau's theory of social contract then we find out that Rousseau's social contract is an imaginative contracts it is not to be taken literary the mere agreement to enter into the community can not create language or turn people into reasoning creatures the human being cannot contact at all without the ability to speak or reason which are required for the creation of the community Rousseau has agreed with other social contract theorists 
that people must contract out of the state of nature because of the obstacles to their preservation it is apparent that the terms give of the contract specify that must up their natural liberty and agree to live by the community's rule there is no other possible reading of the contract that makes any logical sense how did the liberty of individual to be made compatible with the necessity of social order to response this dilemma he had found way to create a sovereign power as absolute as hobbes at the same time he allows individuals to maintain their liberty in an even more absolute sense than locke after examining a brief introduction about rousseau his writings uh, nature of man state of nature and analysis of his theory of social contract uh, we can uh, mention here that all these views of rousseau his writings his social contract nature of man and man, ma- nature of man and state of nature remained a most important part of rousseau's philosophy in the result of his social contract theory he also highlighted most famous most popular his and other theory that is about general will his theory about general will inshallah explain you in next lecture so that is the end of our today's discussion